All right, so this is Scenarium. Scenari this is going to be a Titans team versus Super Bitch team. Uh, on Inferno. Seconds. Inferno's team is Soapy, Super Bitch, Hexy, Jack Booted Thug, 72 year old Fart, and Tuvi. And then um, Titan Slinger, Steam Storm, Titan, four, Larsock, Thane, three, Psylocke, Hoodoo, and match Saki. Begins now. Oh. Saki uh, might be pooping, um, so that's unfortunate if so. Uh, it's okay. <sighs> Yeah, frankly, uh, Storm is looking pretty strong on this one. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, I haven't really seen this map played competitively, so I'm curious how it goes. And I don't remember if this version has the unkillable inventory stations or not. So Ho and everything is probably going to be focused on the flags without much like base play. Oh man, yeah, if this is the one, I didn't even think of that. Team Are there two versions score. of a small map? One with and without the invincible inventories? I think there's only one version of the map, but like I don't know if that's a taco special or or what. Like I don't I don't know how all that stuff works. Yeah, because I know he did that with a few maps. A uh, small crossing, I believe, being another one, and I think a map I made. I just can't remember which one. But yeah, I'm really interested about that myself. I'm gonna check it out really fast. Yeah. I think I see Saki, yep. Saki's pooping. That he, it doesn't look like it, but he's pooping. Well, that would be why uh, Inferno has an early lead, I suppose. And we're in our first standoff. So I'm expecting sensors to play an unusually high roll on this one just because the terrain is so dark and so foggy. Um, but again, like all the action is going to be fairly concentrated. So where you choose to hold the flag is going to be probably the main determining factor in, a, in the standoff. Oh, man. My, my friendly, my team scores and flags aren't showing up now. You gotta Aww. be kidding me. <laughs> Welcome to the Stone Age, and uh, Soapy just got blown back there himself. He just caught a mortar while he was zoomed in with a sniper rifle. Ooh, and there's the return by Thane from the looks of it. So he was the heavy offense that got the kill as well. And we are evened up. Let's see how quickly people reset. Looks like we've already got Lofts um, set up on the Inferno side. I guess Tuvi is farming from the looks of it. Very bit of hoe pressure, no um, capper set up to take advantage of the opportunity. And things are back to being quiet. I'm going to fly over to the other side. I want to say sorry to my stream. Sorry for all the bugs. I feel like I try to fix this stuff. Like, I took a little bit of time last week and then tried to do some stuff last second here and shit's still buggy. I wonder if Saki came back. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. Just get some grabs, get some returns, Storm. have a good time! <laughs> Alright, we're 2-1 uh, with that cat by Hoodoo. Yeah, now that Saki is back, I think Storm is going to run away with this one. If uh, Inferno's not careful. Kind of not quite a llama grab, but like a front route stop and then a DJ off. Um, so Jack is taking a lot of fire, but he Inferno makes it home in medium. Yeah, kind of surprised. Definitely took a lot of cutting right there. We got the flag right there. Very low health. Decides to throw the flag off. Still very low health, but it's flag's pretty much home. So Saki's able to grab it, and he's holding sensor jammer right now. Decent health. Not really being. Pressure that cap. Yeah, it was real quiet. He took kind of an interesting angle on that DJ. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Did the it's same built. thing twice and it didn't work. <laughs> Saki's picking up super bitch here. And uh, Psylocke was at midfield earlier. I guess he was just on, oh, outgoing the first time. 
Uh, but yeah, they've got that, that return fairly easily. Good hope pressure on the flag. I'm guessing that's Hoodoo. And uh, the LD are on the Inferno side. Look like they're mostly having to keep to the flag, while the Storm side is able to push out and, and own that midfield hill a little better. That's providing really good security for their cappers. It's a clean grab, but sniped down by Soapy. Soap with the snaps. So fresh and so clean. Soapy and Hoodoo are both wearing green skins for me. That's going to be <laughs> a problem. Is it the pistachio? No, it's some human filth skin. Mm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, disgusting humans. Still without a Firedome superiority complex. Uh, it's no complex. It seems simple to me. <laughs> Biodermes are better. Fight there between Hexy and uh, Saki. Hexy's gonna get the return. Same with the flag for Storm. Pretty decent health, going at a decent clip. That's around a third health, so still sniper. Ooh, down to like a quarter now, maybe. But able to suit back up a wee bit. Decent shield pack light. That's a great capping outfit for this map. Yeah, for sure. So many chains. Whoops. Good pressure here. I don't know. Uh, I might just leave this one, let it get returned, and then use that time to coordinate your uh, your clearing and your next grab instead of like trying to pick that one up in the field. Ooh, wow. Thane almost returned the flag to Jack Hood. Oh, okay, Thane. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit of a Llama E grab by Old Fart, but it was the right call. It was the only way to keep the flag off the stand to prevent that cat, but he just he didn't have any speed. He had 3 LD on him. Storm side looks like they are running away with this one. Oh, great mortar there. Great shot. What picked up by was that picked up by 2B? I missed. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, Super Pitch did pick up the storm flag and pretty much dropped it right afterwards. And uh, oh, it looks like Soapy might be doing some O sniping. Oh, wait, no, it's on there. D sniping. Wow, I'm sorry, I need to chase. Yeah, for sure. No, I'm out of it too. I just yawned. <laughs> well, that's a fair grab. He's going to have a lot of chain gun. No support at midfield uh, from Stormside. But I guess they're busy chasing chasing the flag carrier down. No, they're actually not. Nobody is. Okay. Somebody is. It's crazy without team colors. I don't know why I didn't turn off my uh, custom scans. I got to do that next map. <laughs> do you usually do that? Yeah, I turn off the custom skin so I I can at least figure out team colors without having to zoom all the way in to get the nameplate. I'm actually able to make a cap for Inferno right there, so it makes a score of 5-3 in favor of Storm. So it's not a complete blowout here, but uh, I definitely feel like Storm has the upper hand on this. Thane picked up the flag oh. for Storm and was sniped out by Hexy. Moving at a pretty decent clip, the flag's almost back at their home base. But it's returned by Super Bitch. I really thought that tree was gonna swat that flag out of the air. Kinda kinda had my hopes. MVP, the tree. Deploy tree here. Wow, Thane was able to get back to the flag stand pretty fast. Takes the disc jump, almost home with the flag, decides to pass the flag off. Pretty much home. No one's grabbing it yet, though. Yeah, this is strange. 
Yeah. I feel like oh, there's really... Jack the back grab. He's out clean again in that medium armor. He's doing really well with that. And he's yeah. got cover at midfield, too. And they have the return. Wow. Pressure at the stand, though. Oh, oh. nice play by Thane. Why does it always seem like the person that has some bugs? I hope I can get this stuff fixed before the next one. Ooh. Nice shot. Ooh, that was. with the flag for Storm looking Team good, Storm. no one on the flag, and Storm. he's able to catch before being sniped out by him. So it's a 6-3. Looks like Titan had to drop up one point and uh, just got back into the game. I've got him covered. Thanks, man. And Jack Boot float <laughs> Jack Boot thug with the flag again for Inferno. Medium armor just running the same back to front, able to get home pretty much every single time. Now he's been chained down. Chained down by Saki while uh, Storm had the Inferno flag. Psylocke has it, and that's Team gonna be Storm another cap. Scores. That is seven to three. Ooh, this is a tin cap map. I'm not saying there's room for a comeback, but we might see it. But not if we keep okay. My team scores. <laughs> scores. I don't know if um, Inferno team is like have is having Jack time this grabs or team whatnot, but like scores. a little bit of D from Storm will shut him down. I think essentially. Yeah, and over here on the other side, it's just calm. I mean, they've had two lofts pretty comfortable here. They'll occasionally get heavy offense, but they can clean them up and then easily get back on the flag. This is a bit of a llama grab from Larsok. Clears midfields. Uh, they should have this one back home again. And this is going to be game cap. Oh, there's an E grab coming in the last second. Didn't oh, quite land. Is interesting. <laughs> Not bad for a starter map, though, and two brand new captains. So shout out to them for uh, for stepping up, getting it done. A little bit of a what they say, Kansas rivalry. 